Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today is February 20th, and Samsung just pushed off the very first software update for the Galaxy S23 series. Now, this update comes just a few days after its launch on Friday, and down here on the bottom, you can see that this one is giving you that February 1st patch. The size is 540 megabytes, which normally with every month security patch, it's right around 200 or 230 megabytes. So this one's a little bit larger than normal. And this version is an AWBE. So what does this update give you? So it will give you the normal device stability improvements, bug fixes, there's new and or enhanced features. Uh, and really down here is what it's given you, you know, the most important information from this update. So the apps below may be updated to the latest version after the software update. So that means that all of these listed here wouldn't be able to get to its latest version without this update. So now you'll be able to update AR Zone, Samsung Notes add-ons, Samsung on-device resource, English, uh, Samsung Clock, Galaxy Wearable, Samsung Global Goals, Samsung Kids, Samsung Free, Samsung Notes, Pen Up, uh, Shop Samsung, Samsung Health, uh, Smart Things, Samsung Members, Samsung Wallet, Samsung TV Plus, Samsung's Calculator, and Samsung Smart Switch. So what we'll do is we'll update this I'm also going to take a look at just two of these ones to see if this update is automatically giving these applications their updates or if we need to go into the Galaxy Store to get these ones updated from there. I'm hoping some of these are within the Galaxy Store so this way we can read the log to see what exactly is new with some of these applications. Now one thing that I am noticing on here is the Samsung Notes add-ons as well as Samsung Notes written right there and one of the things that they talked about on stage at Unpacked is how you're able to collaborate so this way you can actually use Samsung Notes and kind of have it as a cloud service so then this way other people are able to collaborate collaborate, add within. So it's not just, you know, with using Google Notes uh, to, or, to where you'd be able to have a bunch of collaborators, you'd be able to send it, people can fix it, or if you're just logged into the same account. So with you being able to work with Samsung Notes with other people, I think that that's a pretty cool idea. Uh, it's also at this point in the video, I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, as well as the the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. And also, if you are looking into getting one or any of the Galaxy S23 series, I'll be placing a link below the video inside the description that'll take you directly over into Samsung. So this way you can get this thing ordered. Pre-order is all done and finished, so now you can purchase this, get it sent immediately. Uh, same thing if you're to go into a store. But what I love about Samsung.com is that you're able to get any of the deals that's happening in stores or by each carrier, everything you're able to get online at Samsung.com. You can either get them carrier locked or you can get them unlocked. You can buy them outright or you can do the normal payment plans. So the update is done and complete. And I got to say it actually went pretty quick, but I believe it's just because I don't have too many applications on here just yet. Didn't even fully set this thing all up or put a bunch of my different customizations and settings just yet. But how about we go through, I'm going to take a look at calculator. I'm also going to take a look at Samsung Notes. I wrote down their versions before the update uh, just to see if they're going to be pushed automatically with the update. So originally it was 12.1.25.3. This is 12.1.25.3, so it looks like this is the same version here of Calculator. Now let's take a look at Samsung Notes. I wrote this one as well. This one used to be 4.4.0.2.3.3. So 440233. So it looks as if these ones are the exact same version. So now we're just gonna go inside of the Samsung uh, Galaxy Store. So we're gonna take a look to see if this is where we'd be able to find some updates, if there's any, uh, which there should hopefully be some inside of here. So you just wanna head over inside of your menu, head over inside of updates. Uh, and then right up over here, it looks as if we have some updates for, uh, looks like camera assistant, the authentication framework and autofill with Samsung Pass. So this is what I'm seeing here. So maybe what they're talking about is whenever there are updates for those listed applications that we talked about from before, uh, 
you know, maybe whenever those updates are being pushed out, now that this phone has this update, now we'd be able to get those ones updated as well. Uh, so camera assistant, so it looks like support new features, S23, S22, S21, S20, the Fold 4, Flip 4, uh, for any of those that are running on Samsung One UI 5.1. So it looks like 5.1 is definitely coming along this whole line. So if you own a S22, S21, or S20, you'll get Samsung One UI 5.1, but just remember all all of these features built into the S23 doesn't always move all of them down through this entire list. But at least now, if for anybody who would like to use camera assistant for any of those devices that we just listed, uh, you'd be able to get this one downloaded again just through the Galaxy Store. So those updated pretty quick. I kind of wish that we were able to see a little bit more with this update, um, but that's pretty much it for right now. There's really nothing else that I took a look at before the update. But basically, let's see if we can go back through, read everything that was already listed there. So you can go inside of your software update. You can actually go to last update if you'd like to read it. That entire thing that was listed is actually not sitting there currently, but luckily I took a screenshot of it. So we'd be able to take a look at screenshots. Uh, so here was everything that was listed. So the apps below may be updated to the latest version after the software update. So again, it's all listed as AR Zone, Samsung Notes add-ons, Samsung on-device resource English. You also have the Samsung Clock, Galaxy Wearable, Samsung Global Goals, Samsung Kids, Samsung Free, Samsung Notes, Penup, Shop Samsung, Samsung Health, Smart Things, Samsung Members, Samsung Wallet, Samsung TV Plus, Samsung Calculator, and Samsung Smart Switch. So I guess whenever these are updated and Samsung pushes them off, you will now be able to update them now that you have this latest update, uh, which is probably just more or less, um, you know, some of the, the, the security patches with this update it will work with all of those applications. But hopefully you guys appreciate this video. It wasn't too much for me to go in depth on this one, but just to let you know, even though you just got a brand new phone, you might've just gotten it out of the box. There is a brand new software update waiting for you, pushed out today, February 20th. But I hope you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.